Uh, my name's Delaine Smith. I'm the Chief Executive Officer of the Australasian Leukaemia and Lymphoma Group. I'm very interested in the advancement of clinical trials in Australia for the benefit of patients and also for the benefit of medical knowledge. A clinical trial is a scientific study and that scientific question is developed from the way that we see patients currently being treated and then we look at how can we do things better. And a clinical trial is then about testing a new medicine, testing a new way of treating a patient, and it's performed over a period of time to capture the right number of patients needed so that we can statistically uh, be sure that what the changes we want to make is the safe and right change to make for the treatment of the patients. Clinical trials are precision, they are meticulous, they are well designed. You can't be on a clinical trial unless you've met the criteria, unless you've been briefed on what the clinical trial is about and know that it's good for you. And in Australia, the way the regulation works is that you also must provide written informed consent to be on a clinical trial. And that ensures that you've had a communication between yourself and your doctor about the benefit of what the clinical trial is going to offer and that you're aware of what the clinical trial is going to deliver in terms of the new drug or the new tests or the new treatment therapy. Clinical trials run for many years and that's because we need to see the effect start with the new treatment and then we need to be able to follow up and see what's happening over that period of time to ensure it's having that effect we're looking for. I think the common misconception about clinical trials is that people could be guinea pigs. And that's in fact not true because in blood cancer research, we know that there is more work to do, that the treatment that is available is just not there yet. And clinical trials is the mechanism where the evidence is collected and then we can make an informed understanding of what needs to change. So in actual fact, it's an opportunity. A clinical trial is an opportunity to be a part of testing something new. And all the treatments that we have today are because clinical trials have gone on before them. And we need to be able to keep building on the medical and scientific knowledge that we have to improve treatments for patients. The process of a clinical trial is actually very detailed. It starts with a question. It starts with teasing out that question, understanding what's the problem we're confronting with the patient or with the treatment that we know that we really just need to be doing better with here. And then we develop that question into some um, statistical uh, dialogue and with some other informed evidence that we have to then develop what we call a protocol. And that's essentially the instruction manual. That's the instruction for what needs to happen in order to know that we're going to be able to make a difference with the new drug or the new treatment and the new therapy. Clinical trials in Australia are very safe. We have one of the best regulatory environments in the world. And in actual fact, Australia is renowned globally for a great reputation with transparency in research. So we have very good safety monitoring in Australia and our systems with our ethics committees and with the legislation in the country means that they are very safe and that you will be monitored safely and that if things are signalling how they shouldn't be, that you're going to be made aware of that as quickly as possible and your doctor's going to treat you as quickly as possible. <laughs>